Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick install on wider foot pegs on my DRZ 400S. Now, a lot of bikes are going to be similar to this, so you can probably watch it if you have a Yamaha or Kawasaki or whatever. But today it's the 400S, and I went with these IMS. They're a steel foot peg, and it's about, it's almost twice as wide as the stock one. And then it looks like uh, maybe a quarter inch longer, just a little bit longer. I'll show you once I take this off. But this is going to be real fast, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, at first when I was looking at it, I thought that this was actually a bolt, but it's really just a pin. And so it's got a little cotter pin on here that we're going to take off. And it looks to me like we'll just be able to slide it up. I'm going to put on some eye protection because you do have a spring under tension here, uh, just to make sure that we do it safely here. Let's see if we can get up that cotter pin. Shouldn't be anything crazy. Just do that. So just pay attention to how it comes apart. You've got a, you've got the cotter pin, and then you have got a little washer, and then the spring itself. There we go. All right, so there's a little washer. You've got the cotter pin here. Set those to the side. There it goes. There, that released the tension on it. And we should be able to, there you go, pull that right out, there's everything. All right, you can see the differences. This is the stock one, and this is the IMS. So, line back up, it's just barely longer, maybe a quarter inch longer. And you can see, you know, it's about probably uh, 30 or 40 percent wider, I would say. All right, so to install it, put the spring in here, and I'm gonna feed the spring into the hole in the frame down there. Just kind of hold it together as you push the pin back through. there. There we go. All right, you can see it works as normal. So then we just have to put our washer on it and grab a new cotter pen. This might be a little difficult. You might have to get creative. What I'm going to use is these kind of channel lock pliers. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the spring onto the perch. I'm going to grab it on the other side of the washer so everything's together. Oh boy. So you get a hold of that. It's real close. Tell you what, I'm going to grab from, actually, Let's rotate. I'm going to rotate that pin so that the cotter pin hole is facing to the outside. Right there. Hold that on. Let's try this again. I just couldn't get it the angle that that hole was at. A little smaller than I like. Oh, that's perfect. Right there. Bend these cutter pin tabs back. And you may have to rotate that pin again just so you can grab it at a little bit better angle. Okay. That one. That's it. And there you have it. That's the IMS super stock foot pegs for DRZ 400S. Part number that I'm using is a 275511. And you can see it still retains 
you know, where it gives. All right, so the other side is a little more involved because your brake lever is gonna be in the way. So there's a cotter pin on the back of this bolt here. I've removed that and this is an eight millimeter. It's an eight millimeter Allen head socket. And I'm leaving the brake hooked up. I shouldn't have to remove that. I don't see any reason why I would. But it's on there. There we go. <clears throat> and while we have this out, I'm gonna grease it before I put it back in. So I don't know if you caught it, but it's got a washer on the other side. Here's the pin there, and I'm gonna clean that and put some grease on it before we put it back together since we have it apart. Now, I've already taken the cotter pin out. I just, I really just need this, just enough clearance that I can drive that pin out of there. Spring is already disconnected. I'm going to clean this pin up too, get some grease on that. I'll keep it from uh, any type of corrosion and kind of really keep the dirt from getting into it internally. Set that to the side. We're going to grease the pin and I wish I would have done this to the other foot peg. Um, so I'll take it apart and probably grease it too. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy, not a bunch of grease. Most of it's gonna come off when we push it back in there. Let's drop it in. That is it for that peg. Open these tabs. Make sure we don't cross thread it here. tension on it. Looks like it's going to need a little bit of motivation. I'm not, uh, this is almost no torque, so it's a good way to make sure that you're not cross-threading it. difference. I know, you know, these shoes are extremely flexible compared to the motocross boot I normally have on. I've got a Alpine Star Corduras that I love, but that's a lot more, um, just a lot more area. I like it. I think it's a good uh, install. Can't wait to get it out on the trail and see how it works. <laughs>